Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Marks! What is up, gamer boys and girls? It's TJ Son here, otherwise known as Pyrotaz underscore three. Um, I'm going to be doing a very special edition of Pyro Plays uh, Destiny the 2.0 update. Um, the Taken King is not quite out yet, but they gave us a sneak preview with the 2.0 update. So I'm going to be going over some of the new stuff that you uh, may have been prepared for or might be completely new if you're going to be new to the franchise in general. I am uh, with Dust Bunny 527 right? Is your gamer tag? Jeez, like you don't know. Dust Bunny 527 is joining me, so if you hear her random outbursts, uh, that's gonna be her. But I imagine that most of the outbursts will be for me, because I'm super hype about this. So, let's check it out. Like farts. That's one. <sighs> Darn it. Sorry. I didn't know what you're saying yourself before. <clears throat> right. <laughs> No, I'm not gonna edit any of it. No. That's the great thing about Pyro Plays. And you guys can expect that in the future. When it comes to Pyro Plays, I'm gonna try to do the, a minimal amount of editing, uh, not just because I'm lazy, and I am, but because I don't really wanna take away from, from the experience of anything. If I mess up, if I die 100 times in a game, I want you guys to be right there with me. The so genuine Yeah, it's article. gonna be l legit. So as we already noticed, light level is different and we're gonna get into that that was probably the biggest overhaul that people were um expecting so we all knew it was coming but it's finally here uh some of you may already know what that is and how it works so let's get right into it with our character screen okay <clears throat> oh what is l2 oh that is really cool okay um what did that do Huh? If you hold L2, it shows the damage types. Oh. Like, for example, you can see in upper left like that my that. subclass is solar. You can see that plan C is arc. You can yeah. see that my rocket launcher is void. That's really cool. Really hype about that. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to notice, no helmet. Finally, finally, finally. Thank you, Bungie. There's no more helmets. We can look at our guys. We have this sweet, customized character that we love, of, and that's what we love about RPGs. It's all about how sexy your character looks, and we can finally see that. Um, I am a Warlock Exo is my main, main character. I was trying to go for like a Decepticon feel with the purple and red eyes, so I feel like I kind of pulled that off pretty well. Um, when it comes to your level, uh, I think 40 is now the cap, and so you'll basically be working up in experience to level 40 as opposed to level 20. So there's that in case you didn't know. And then when it comes to light level, it is going to be, well, you can see right there. Your light score is an average of the attack and defense values across all of your currently equipped gear. A higher light score improves both your damage output and your defense. Um, so now there's no more light levels on, on your gear uh just discipline and strength and intellect um as you can see there's no more light levels for anything but instead they take the actual defense number so 160 170 170 170 and uh they take those they average it with your weapons as well i've got the calling at 160 plan c at 170 and exodus plan at 160 they average it all together and that's how you end up with your light level so being an average, I think it's going to be kind of tricky, but at the same time, I think it's a lot cleaner than the system that they used before. They've also changed our attributes uh, with intellect, discipline, and strength. No more percentages that don't really mean anything to us. Um, we get an actual cooldown rate, and they have tiers as well that show us how powerful um, we have each of our attributes. So that is really cool as well. Yeah, it is. Um, let's come on over to our subclass. They change what the subclasses look like. I don't know what the subclasses look for Hunter or Titan, uh, but with Sunsinger you know and like Voidwalker, what's that? You don't know what they look like for Titan? I know what they look like for Titan. I don't know what they look like new now. Oh, gotcha. Now they have, they, they changed right. the design a little bit, put an icon on it, which I think is just, it's cool. It's just something new, something neat. It looks nice. Yeah. Um, 
in our lower left corner, you can see that ghost shells are actually going to mean something now. Um, number one, we should actually start seeing ghost shells that are different colors, finally. Um, and they attribute to your overall defense. So it's kind of odd that they're over here on the weapon side, but it evens it out with the, um, with the bond that you have. And it looks like bonds also give you defense, which is super nice. sweet. That's why my defense is so low. Or that's why my light is so low, because uh, everything, these other averages are pulling it down, so... Okay. Yep, putting on House of Devils, Warlock Bond, and I hop up to 139. I'm sure as soon as I get a different ghost shell, that should pop everything up as well. So that's really exciting. In the lower right corner, we have a new box, and this is Artifacts. Artifacts are available at level 40, and from what I understand, from what the interwebs has told me, it's going to be um, like swords and things. Uh, which I think is going to be really cool. I think it's going to add uh, just a whole nother level to this RPG. There's a lot of things that they added that make it feel more RPG-y. More RPG-esque, if you will. Um, they had the FPS part down. You, you did it. You made it a shooter game. Like, you got that part. Now focus on the RPG, focus on the MMO aspects. And I think that's definitely what they tackled. Um, before we move on, it should be mentioned that Bungie definitely wants to go for more of like a storyline with the Taken King, and you might even be able to tell that from some of the trailers. It's not just random shooting stuff anymore. Uh, there's an actual storyline. Um, and depending on what trailer you watch, you'll also be able to tell that, um, th the side characters that we know from the tower, like Eris Morn and the different vanguards... Uh, they are, they're actually going to play a role now, which I think is going to be really cool. I think at one point we even hear Cade's voice, which, um, if you guys know anything about Cade, that is actually Nathan Fillion, isn't it? I'm pretty sure the voice of Cade is Nathan Fillion, who is most famous for Firefly. Uh, Cade is the, um, Hunter Vanguard, I believe. Uh, he voices the the Archon Priest strike on Venus. So that's voice. That's whose voice you know. Yeah, that one. The Archon Priest is dead. Yeah. Good. Yeah, him. Um, okay, so we took a look at our gear. Let's take a look at our equipment. And things have been shuffled around a little bit, but nothing too crazy. You've still got your vehicles. You've still got your ships. You've got your shaders and your emblems. See, everything's just been shifted around a little. Emotes are new. I'm not quite sure how those work yet. I think I have an understanding. Really? Diamond. Yeah. Kind of. I mean, like, you know how when you push, like, the, like, on the left, the arrows. The yeah. D-pad? Yeah. If you go up or right, down, left, they're mm -hmm. all a different one. Mm -hmm. I think you might be able to, like, select what those do now. And you can collect a few more than four. Okay. Based on those spaces because point is one that we already have you know right so i think they're putting that there to kind of denote what it's gonna do okay that's just my guess okay because i i know that you still can dance right so even though dance isn't here you can still dance i mean so... I, I don't think they've taken away the ones that have been there but i right. think maybe once they add more or make more available you might be able to customize a little more you know okay what I'm that's just my theory though i could be wrong by the way, if there's several times where we are guessing things and we're completely wrong, I mean, I didn't do a whole lot of searching on the internet before I got into this. I kind of just wanted to dive in. Um, if you guys are the same and you kind of just want to dive in and walk through it with me, feel free. Um, but I'm sure that the internet will have a lot more answers than, than I when it comes to this stuff. I try not to say anything for sure unless I know it's positive, uh, unless I know it's confirmed. Let's hop on over to inventory. <clears throat> First and foremost, materials and consumables. We have more spaces. Thank you, Bungie. Um, I don't have to start throwing necessary items in the vault and taking them out constantly because I don't have any more spaces. Consumables was never really a problem. Materials, I mean, once you start introducing things like the different uh, weapon and armor cores, passage coins, and now with armor materials, it was going to fill up really fast, so thank you for those extra spaces. They are much appreciated. We still have our mission bar, where we'll have any special items that are required by the mission that we're currently taking on. We've still got Vanguard marks, we've still got Crucible marks, but we have a new kind of mark. 
Uh, th those are legendary marks. I believe legendary marks are probably what we'll be using for anyone that's not a Vanguard or Crucible. And what I mean by that is, um, I believe the Cryptarch is supposed to start having legendary engrams. I imagine that we would use legendary marks for that. Um, I don't know if the Gunsmith is going to start offering legendary things, uh, but I assume that he would also take legendary marks if he ever got to the point where he was selling things that were actually worth anything. Let's hop on over to a new tab that we have called Quests. This is where your bounties are going to lie, and we now have 16 spaces, which I believe is even more. I think we had 10 was originally five when this game first dropped we had five they jumped us up to 10 and now not only 15 but they hopped us up to 16 um and so i mean hell take as many bounties as you want um you've got quests now i don't know what the purple box means but dust bunny um theorized that it might have been the step that you're on in that particular quest i don't know how i'm on step 10 but maybe it's i've i'm automatically past steps just because how far um, I am in the game so far. I can only imagine that. Um, and it would appear that uh, they're very subclash driven, like Path of the Sunsinger. This says Legend of the Warlock. I think this one has to do about, or has to do with Voidwalker items. Okay, so that makes sense. They've got one for each of your subclasses. Yes. And Over into your roster, everything's the same. Um, we talked about inventory and and settings are all the same as well. I believe Nothing too special there. Okay, so that should cover everything as far as that goes Let's find out where we want to go and hello The map is completely different. Um, I'm actually a super big fan of this I think it makes a lot of sense how they stuck crucible and vanguard over here in the corner They kind of had that before but I think it's nice how it's kind of up here in the corner Find it a little odd that Crucible is larger than Vanguard, but this is, it's a very multiplayer, <laughs> competitive driven game, so I guess I can't blame them for that. Also, everything's proportionate now, mm. more or less, Ish. more or less, yeah. which is pretty cool. The, the most notable being that the moon is no longer <laughs> the size of Earth. Yeah. Thank you. Um, all our maps are the same as well, so there's nothing too special there. Other uh, than Mars. Other than Mars, and this might have been something I overlooked. I don't know if this is new or not. True. The fact that it says Phobos over here. That might have been there before, and maybe I'm just noticing it for the first time. I don't go to Mars often. It's not exactly my favorite planet. Um, but what I'm hoping is at some point, we can click on Phobos, and it'll bring up a secondary map for Mars. I think that'd be neat. In the lower left corner, you'll also notice that it says Solar System, and then, of course, it has all your, all your weekly and daily events um, right above that. I find it really neat that it says solar system for a few reasons. Number one being that we're actually identifying that this is the solar system. Obviously we all knew that, but I'm glad that we say it because um, with all the implications in this game that we spread so far to all these other planets and terraformed and what have you, I would think that we'd be familiar with more than the solar system, so we'd have to start addressing the solar system as such we'd have to start using the name because there's other systems we're familiar with i also like it because maybe one day if we're lucky this won't say solar system anymore we might actually start to see some of those other systems um we haven't even seen all the solar system yet so i'm thinking way far in the future uh but i think it'd be neat that bungie really can do anything they want with this they can start making up planets who are we to say no i mean they made venus a jungle so you can kind of do whatever you want with, Fanta oceans. with big, yeah, with big <laughs> tomato soup oceans. Yeah, Campbell's. Um, the reef is the same. Uh, that's the same. Yeah. So, so yeah, I really like the the mm -hmm. font overhaul as well. I think that uh, that's really neat. And of course, no daily, no crucible, and no event for now. Um, there's kind of more or less a dead period between here and the Taken King. Then you've got the Taken King cinematic, uh, which you can take a look at uh and of course they have the offers to buy the taken king digitally i have mine pre-ordered physical copy uh just because i i like physical copies if you have not yet seen the trailer to the taken king uh i guess we can watch that now
So gather around kids, grab some popcorn, and let's let's watch the cinematic. Once I looked up at the stars. I stood against the darkness. My eyes saw hope and a future full of light. Six of them you went down into the pit. You sought revenge for those I lost. You slew a god. With his last breath, he reached out across the night. And now, the night has answered. Uh-oh. Orcs. Pota's father. Now we all know why Crota has such daddy issues. <laughs> Ship design. <laughs> it's just I don't look like lanterns. Yeah. But maybe that's on purpose. Yeah. We have a motor in the sun. Come on, man. So as you can see, um, this expansion is a lot uh, more hive driven. Again, they're going back to the hive. Um, I think that's because when, when um, oh, what was it called? The Dark Below came out, everyone seemed to really like all the hive stuff. So go, going back to that, uh, I guess we're just never gonna see anything with the Cabal, man. I just, no one cares about the Cabal. Personally, I really liked, the House of Wolves, um, just because I think when it comes to Minions of the Darkness that uh, the Fallen have got to be my favorite. I don't know what it is about them. I just like the way the Fallen work. All right, so let's hit the tower, which is where we're going to find most of our changes. Um, the tower is what's most noticeable. They changed a ton of stuff. Um, and even if you go in, you might notice some changes, but it's kind of hard to notice them all. So. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through and maybe a lot of the stuff you've already seen, but hopefully you'll pick up on a thing or two that you weren't aware of. By the way, in going to the tower, uh, you're obviously going to see things in my vault and such. You've already seen the inventory of my character. Um, and if you can't tell, I'm a pretty casual player. Dirty Casuals of Destiny Unite. Um, I do like to play a few days a week, but I'm not someone who, who raids really hard or hits the Prison of Elders every week and does all the weekly stuff every week. I just, I kind of play here and there, but I really, really do like this game. Um, and so I, I thought that uh, it, this would be a fun thing to do. So don't hate on me for not having every exotic known to year one. Um, I got the exotics that I wanted and broke anything that I didn't want. Yes, that includes Thorn. <laughs> um, okay. I'm gonna get a lot of shit for that. <laughs> uh, I know I'm gonna get a lot of shit for hating on Thorn. Uh, so let's take a look at the vault first and foremost. We've got pages of the vault now. Look how many spaces we've got, first of all. And we have a page that's just for weapons, a page that's just for armor, and a page 
that's just for our general things which is really cool because my vault was starting to get full as well especially with a lot of the side crap that i wanted to keep um but Not didn't want to, to run that. around with yes like the different wolves uh emblems that i got i didn't want to get rid of them because it's like man this is the newest expansion and everything like that but at the same time, I didn't want to be lugging them around with me all the time either. Mm -hmm. Same thing with shaders. Like, I already have the maximum amount of shaders because I'm changing my shader constantly. And even though these are rares, I didn't want to get rid of them because, I, I don't know, I didn't want to limit my options as far as shaders went. Um, so, yeah. And then you've got some armor. And I know that I have a lot of legendary things here in the vault, but uh, I don't know if you noticed before, my titan isn't even isn't even high enough yet to hold any of these items so they're really in there for him anytime i come across something that i'm like ah yeah i don't have that in the vault yet i don't have that kind of weapon with that kind of damage in the vault yet i throw it in there so he'll one day he'll one day grow up and get to use it come take a look at the crypt arc and nothing stock refresh in three days oddly enough that's when the taken king comes out <laughs> um so the Cryptarch has nothing right now. I'm pretty sure you can still bring him your engrams, uh, but they kind of cleaned him out until the Taken King comes out, further confirming him having legendary engrams. Bungie has said that, uh, but they've said that before, so everyone is, was really skeptical, but I think he's really going to have it this time. All right, let's take a look at Banshee. Let's get you and he has some field test weapons for us. Um, and these are essentially weapons uh, that are are brand new. And we're seeing three new, more or less new, when it comes to Suros. Yeah, yeah. I've been calling them brands. Uh, first, you've got Omelon. And this is a very sleek, very basic, uh, very flat. Minimalist. Yeah. Sharp. Minimalist, sharp yeah. type of gun. Uh, it's a void fusion rifle, and I gotta say it looks pretty slick. I like the way it looks. That's why I picked up one of them myself. Very matte and luxury. Yeah, yes, for sure. And then you have Hake, I believe is how you would pronounce that. Um, sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, this reminds me a lot of Mars. It almost makes me think of something like Cabal would run around with, yeah. just because of the color something scheme. Deserty. It is very deserty. Um, and this is okay. This is okay looking. Uh, it's a little bit blockier, yeah. I guess you could say. But then again, it is also a pulse rifle. So mm -hmm. what can you expect? And then you have Suros. Suros is my favorite. Suros Regime is my all-time favorite exotic weapon. And so when they announced there was going to be more Suros items, or not necessarily announced, but showed that there's more Suros items, I got really hyped for it. And I think that this rocket launcher just looks gorgeous. I mean... Yeah, it really is. It looks like... A sports car. It does. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Honestly, that's what I was going to say. I was trying. I was thinking, like, Lamborghini. Yeah. It's like the Lamborghini the of Lamborghini. rocket launchers. Yeah. Um, it makes me think of iRobot. Like, the way that they were very, like, almost looked like plastic. Sleek. Very sleek. Yeah. Yes. Uh, probably some sort of carbon fiber Ergonomic, type deal. but, like, yes. artistic -ish. Yes. So I'm going to be very hyped for all Suros items, which luckily my pre-order comes with. And then we've got another Hake sniper rifle, and you can tell it's the same theme going on there. Yep. And then you have the an Omelon sniper rifle, and again the same theme. I think it looks really slick. I'm not a sniper rifle guy, otherwise I'd take one of these. Um, but I do really like the Omelon uh, style. And that is Banshee for you. Let's start with, or not start with, but as far as picking a branch of the tower to hit first, let's hit tower north. Let's start with the easiest one. Tower north, okay. Let's give a visit to the speaker. See what he's got going on. Your return is there it is. Yep, there it is indeed. Um, so the speaker is obviously going to be one of our vendors for more ghost shells. 
Um, and you can see that the defense is quite a jump <laughs> from what I have. Uh, yeah, I definitely need to pick one of these out. Um, Virgil Green? Eh, I don't know about green, man. What do these blue ones look like? Ooh, I do like the blue. Discipline plus 13. The Texan marks nearby Relic Iron. Spin battle formations. Well... Are the other two the same? They are the oh. same color, uh, however, they require 24 and have a little bit higher, or 24, they require 34 and have a higher defense. Gotcha. I definitely want this one, so I'll likely just, wait. I'll likely just wait, I only have a level to go right now. Yeah, I'm at 33. Dust Bunny's giving me a look because she thinks she's cool that she's at 34, when I haven't played for the past couple days. Because I didn't want to get very far before I did this pyro plays for you guys. Um, these doors continue to be shut, which makes me upset because I said day one, when are these doors going to open? Are they hiding? Yes. Uh, you know that's going to be like a whole other section of the tower, though. So, just, one day, Guardians, just one day. Let me for a second and say, let me have one thing and be a level above you for like five <laughs> seconds because I know it's not going to last. And that doesn't mean I'm better than you in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> We have new kiosks. What is giant iPhones? <laughs> the iPhone 8. Uh, <laughs> Apple paid a crap ton of money to Bungie <laughs> to allow... Product placement. <laughs> yup. <laughs> so we've got these new kiosks. Um, access emblems. And this has got to be one of the best ideas Bungie has had. I don't know if this came from fans, if this was fan recommended or what. But it was just genius, honestly. Um... You can delete emblems now, and they don't go away. They simply go into your emblem collection, which you can access at any time. Well, any time you're in the tower, that is. And they even have they even have them organized, as opposed to how you could have received them. You've got your House of Wolves, Taken King, uh, the Dark Below, your factions. Um, you've got other factions, raids. And as you can see, there's going to be quite a bit you can get from the, the King's Fall raid. Uh, which makes people hype because let's be honest emblems w we like to show off with we like our emblems uh you've got your crucible that being the iron banner and uh uh trials of osiris what have you your class starters and then the the thousand shitty <laughs> vendor emblems that are available as well and then promotional ones as well um so that's really cool if you go into your character go into your equipment go to an emblem if you go to delete it like i'll get rid of uh uh corsair corsair's badge corsair's badge um delete that come over access my emblems and there it is i have it here as well um so i'm never without it you don't have to lug around emblems anymore afraid that you're going to lose them just keep your favorites and it's going to be the same deal with shaders uh, again, having all the collections right at our fingertips so we can see all the shaders that are available in the game and where they come from. Uh, so if you ever click on somebody and you uh, check out their character, uh, you inspect their character, you go and check out their shader, and you're like, hey man, where'd they get that shader at? Okay, Atlantean 5055. Hop on over the shader kiosk and just go find Atlantean 5055 and it's going to be just that easy which I believe that that's a vendor one yep Atlantean 5055 and then you know where to get it uh you know if it's from the dark below or the house of wolves or the taken king or from different activities uh so that's that's really sweet Eva's doing the same old, same old. She holds more emblems now, which is great, but they're still all pretty basic emblems. She's got the ones that the speaker had, which I think is neat. I'm glad they put those all in one spot mm -hmm. for us. Uh, and then she's got the same old shaders, except for this last one, um, which is blue marble. I don't have this one yet. I have you know, Atlantean 5055. I mean, those emblems might appeal to someone out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Especially when you first start off. Don't and you knock have... them. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, when you have a, only a little bit of glimmer, these make you stand out. Yeah. So. I mean, I've had the same one since, like, the second one I got. 
definitely. And that's Eva. She's not quite uh, so basic anymore. And that is Tower North. As you can see, almost everything has changed. Every vendor is a little bit different. Yeah, in Tower North. Yeah. Oh, I thought there was a faction there. There's a faction there. Yeah, new monarchies up there. Um, but I have no, I have no new monarchy rank. So. Huh? Well, I wouldn't have known because <laughs> I never gone to them before. I'm gonna go to Future War Cult though. So, uh, Eris is gone. So that's. She jumped. Yep. She she had enough. Oh. I mean, we should have seen the sign. She was always standing here crying. It's true. So, it's someone, kind of our someone fault. Someone should have intervened. Yep. You think? Or maybe, was Eris having an affair with Tess Everis? Dun dun dun! Yeah, Tess Everis is missing. I don't know how long she's been missing. They gone. <laughs> but she gone. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's she's not around anymore. Luckily, our good old postmaster's still here. What would we do without you, Katie? And she's doing the same thing. She just has our mail. So, thanks for that. What if it's Caddy? It could be Caddy. <laughs> Let's go talk to Xander9940! Sorry. Sorry. Get that. Whatever. And he's basically the same. They just put the Crucible bounties on top for some reason. I don't know why that needed to change. Also, the bounties look different. Yeah, the colors are a little all the symbols look They're a little, little cleaner. Crisper. Yes, yeah. exactly. Even look at your marks. Yeah. These are, they made them a little dirtier around the edges, yeah. which I think makes it, them look really cool. Really, really cool. And that's that. There's no public event, public event, so we don't need to look at that at all. Let's go to the tower middle, or whatever this is actually called. Hey, there's Eris Morn. And... She is basically She's used to still living, crying. She's used to living in a cave, so she wanted to be out of the sun. <laughs> or, did I say cave? Is that a cave? Cave? Yeah, whatever. Oh, hey, Zer. Let's see what Zer's uh, up to. I forgot it was the weekend, and so therefore Zer has things. <laughs> I think he had this, like, last week or the week before. I don't really have interest in it. No land beyond! Hooray! The best exotic sniper rifle! And then, because... And crab. And then an exotic end crab. I think I'm actually going to pick up one of these. I've definitely got most to spare. And I'll, I'll get that checked out. Lord Shax, anything new with you? Let's do this. Nope, he's just got Crucible Armor. But he's ready. <laughs> Let's do this. He's ready to go. Um... Crucible Quartermaster, nothing new there either. Now our vanguards are going to be keeping track of our quest. They kind of were already doing that. Um, Minions of the Darkness have come... Okay, this is that Legend of the Warlock quest that I had going on. Except Warlock gear. I'm pretty sure I have higher... I'm pretty oh, sure I have a better bond than that, but high. that's fine. What was it? 180, I think. 180? Yeah, look through. Pretty good. Is that literally going to be my huh? best bond right it now? It is. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's depressing. I like a lot. All these legendary ones. Yeah. That makes me sad. Does it even look good? It's pretty basic. It's all right. So, can these be upgraded now? Because they have defense? No? I guess not. They don't. But it's, it's pretty cool that they're going to add to our attributes as well. Yeah. Well, these all do require level 20, despite being legendaries. And True. this one does require 30, so I suppose that makes sense. Legitimate. All right. Do I have to just back up and talk to you again? Because I'm pretty sure I had another quest for you. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. That's going to take some getting used to. Uh, defeat 50 enemies with your Radiance, Grenade, or Melee attack. Oh, that's easy. Oh, yeah. Um, kiosks, again, we've got them for exotic weapons and exotic armor. Uh, we have to yes. Where all these are. Oh, God, I'm so... I'm just so glad Bungie did this. 
Um, <laughs> seriously, the fact that you don't have to carry stuff around, or I assume these will be available character to character as well. At least that's really my hope. Um, and even if they're not, you can always just pick up another one. These are available to purchase uh, from the blueprint kiosk at any time. That's really cool. You eating Oreos right now? Oreos does not sponsor... Nabisco Oreos does not sponsor... Um, <laughs> This, this video <laughs> um but we do like oreos so i mean if you wanted to like hit us up <laughs> yeah that'd be pretty stellar lord of wolves Ooh, that is really nice um so you've got all your year ones going into year two uh, you can see that either they're only showing us a few that are carrying over or these are the only ones from year one that are carrying over um, Bungie has come out and they have said they definitely want us to branch out and use different exotics um, So I don't know if you'll notice but thorn isn't over here That's bull crap. <laughs> um, They're nerfing thorn Literally, again anyways I think I've used one. Um, also, if you look, year one, primary, special, and heavy, but if you go over to year two, we've got primary, blankety blank blank, primary, special, special, and heavy. So the fact that there's two slots for these, for primary and special, makes me wonder. Yeah. Suros Regime looks baller now. Like, it looked baller before. Don't get me wrong. It's a stellar ass weapon. But for some reason, it's Baller 2.0. That's exactly what it is. So we can see Suros Regime. Bad Juju has made the jump to year two as well. I think this is how Bad Juju looks. Let me see. I have it. I literally can just look at it. Yeah. Why are all of the upgrades suddenly available for Bad Juju? <laughs> this is odd. Or did it take a does it did it take away the upgrades that you had for everything? Oh no. Oh that's there. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to trade in my white Soros regime <laughs> for a black one. Um and invective. Which is really cool because this is my second favorite exotic weapon. So I'm glad both of those made the jump. And then you've got your exotic armor blueprints as well. And it's essentially the same deal. You've got your year one helmets, gauntlets, and body armor. And then your year two, I see that Light Beyond Nemesis and Obsidian Mine made the jump. Along with Claws of Ahamkara with our gauntlets. Body armor, we've got Void Fang Vestments and Starfire Protocol. Aw, boo. Um, the, the solar gauntlets didn't make the jump. Sunbreakers, that's what they're called. Sunbreakers, I see, are not in year two. Maybe they'll be a better one. Yeah, yeah. That would be really sweet. Mm -hmm. Year two class items? Ooh, <laughs> exotic class items? Yo, I'm all about that. Oh, well. Requires discovery. I don't know what discovery is. Probably just Something having the Taken it. King. Yeah. Or, yeah, or probably, you probably have to get it to have it. I don't think anything else changed over here. Oh, there's another kiosk. <laughs> Access abandoned oh. quests. Okay. Hello. Where did all these come from? I have so much to do. <laughs> Stuff you just did not have the time for, apparently. I think you're right. I think you're right. The the number in the purple box is certainly uh, yeah, those are the all step. One. They're all Makes ready sense. to start. That's pretty cool. I'm going to have to sift through these later and, and pick some out. Uh -huh. Sweet. I think quests are going to give a lot more purpose yeah. as well. Because, honestly, I didn't even pick up bounties anymore. Yeah, I haven't done them in a while. Like, mm -hmm. honestly, I just kind of forget. Yep. And when you're like, trying to level something go, up. Yeah, well, yeah. And then I go back to the tower, and I'm like, oh, I should go upgrade at the... Wait, I don't have the bounties to turn in. Right. <laughs> like, I didn't do any. Yep. So it's like... All right, let's see what this exotic engram is. Surprise, it's a year two. Yes! I actually don't know what that is, but I know I don't have it. No, I don't have it though, so I'm, I'm actually kind of hyped for it. Sweet, it is for warlocks. Yes. Heart of the Praxic Fire. 
Further decreases all ability cooldowns while Radiance is active. Yes! Huh? Caramel ammo for fusion rifles. Caramel. Hello? Oh my god, this is exactly what I want right now. Oh, and it looks. Oh, it looks gorgeous. Yo, the chainmail on your I was arms? I going to say that. Hella Stella. I was literally going to say the word chainmail. Oh, that is really cool. Like I really regal. like this. It's very regal looking. Everyone right now is probably like, dude, you just got Praxic Fire. What a nerd. Yeah. That's pulse rifles. That's auto rifles. Okay, so then I guess it doesn't matter. I need to switch that way I can put this on. And have less light. <laughs> Yo. That looks really cool. Uh, just a second ago, I had on my imminent war robes and claws. And I was at 152. Yeah, I didn't drop too much. I mean, it's nice with averaging. I feel like it, you know, it's, it's not quite as... Drastic right. sometimes. Yes, the the drop isn't as drastic. Yeah. I I really like the average thing. Mm -hmm. I think it's a really good idea. Alright, let's go check out the hangar. In case you were wondering, this bot is still sweeping. The same the, spot. The exact same spot. So I'm glad. <laughs> I am glad. All right, let's talk to our quartermaster, and okay, everything's the same as far as the quartermaster goes. Sweet, no kiosks or anything to worry about with you. Let's talk to Amanda Holiday. And she's got the same old shit. Thanks, Amanda, for literally nothing. But we do have two more kiosks: one for ships, one for vehicles. Uh, guys, they work the same way, honestly. Um, delete your ships, they're not going anywhere. Also, you can take previews of ships that you don't even have yet, which is really cool. Uh, so let's take a look at some of these Taken King ships. Ooh, that's pretty cool. It's essentially just like a BKR from... From, what's it called? Found in Dead Orbit Packages. Oh my god, no! Oh my gosh, no! Are they gonna have themed ships? Yo! I am too hyped! I'm too stoked. I'm Kyle stoked. Okay, might have to join New Monarchy literally just for their ship schemes. It's the class! You have to join the twerking faction. Oh god, that hurts me. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, these were these were the same ship, were they not? Did I not just look at the same ship twice? Huh? They look very similar. Yeah. <laughs> Between the climb. Okay. I saw that one. And then. I didn't see the other one. The tailored war. That one's the future war cult, though. They're both future war cult. Really? Yep. This is future war cult as well. Oh crap. Yep. Ah, I I really similar. see no difference between those. You'd have to get like a side by side. Some of, like, crucible ships. That's pretty cool. I like this new style. It, it reminds, reminds me, me of like World War One. Or yes, I was gonna say like bomber planes. Mm -hmm. Um, that's really cool. Oh god, this is gonna be like the ship, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that is really nice. I really like that. Me just having Sirius Gallia and not yet having the Hildian Seeker hurts me. Look at that blue, though. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty like baller. Effervescent. Pretty baller. Like Ooh, they're gonna have a raid ship for Taken King. Yo! Oh. That's very interesting. It's different, it's you know? It's like skeletal. Yeah, you know? yep, which is, that's hive the freaking hive for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they Dude, don't scare Thrall, me. Thrall freaking no, scare, scare the me. shit out of me they every once in a while. Me. They get me, man. That's pretty sweet. I like that. Good. They're starting to branch out co with colors. Yeah. Which, it's about darn time. Sweet. Um, huh? I assume vehicles is gonna be the same as well. Are we gonna start to see different kinds of vehicles? Okay, no. Like yeah, vehicles are. They're nothing too. Pretty they're nothing standard. too special. Um, 
I did tell you guys I was gonna go talk to future wolf future war cult. I'm a future war cult nut, so let's see As what you can tell by the gun on his back. <laughs> Faction allegiance. Support future war cult. What does the future bring? We alone have the answer. It has always been war. War between humans. <laughs> war between species. War between light and darkness. War is the fundamental fabric of the universe. Dare we defy it? Will you help us prepare? Heck yeah, I'll accept allegiance. I don't know what this means. You have to pay for it? Yeah, what is this? The shit. I'm literally joining, You're joining a cult. A cult. Oh, 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 That's hilarious. I hit accept and nothing happened. Glitch. Glitch. Two of ten. This game sucks. Do not recommend. Stop. <laughs> Uninstall. Delete. Push file. It. Oh, you have to hold. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay, hold on. Doing this feels like is important. Yeah, this feels like a really a bigger badge. commitment than what I thought. You literally have to long press. <sighs> All right, I'll I'll do it. It's not as long as breaking things out of Hemphill, but still, it's up there. There it is. Wow. Page. I don't know how to feel. Oh. Material exchange? What is this about? Oh, you get further future work called allegiance. No, so there's a difference between reputation and allegiance, maybe? What? Increases your faction standing by donating most of light for use and refining faction arms and armor. No, you have the allegiance by accepting the badge. Okay, I'm such an it's idiot. Okay. It no, means okay. that I yeah. have that. Okay. It's basically like wearing so a bond. It basically just furthers your, yeah, it just furthers your reputation. That's pretty cool. So I guess Did your reputation of light... go up for doing that? What? What do you mean? Did my reputation go up? No, I was rank four what with them. What do you mean it furthers your allegiance? It furthers your, reputation, your reputation. Why? By okay. getting these, increases your oh, faction standing. Oh, I thought standing. you meant the badge. I was so confused. Okay, no, I see what you're saying. Armor materials don't yeah. have near enough of hydronic essence. Shit, I've got some to spend. Nice. Really? You have like. I don't spend. You can even use heavy ammo synth. Oh, oh my god. Yo, this is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. That you can just exchange material. Good. There's a where there's a place materials can go when you have too many of them. Cuz at the beginning of this damn game I had no weapon parts and now I have enough for anything I'd ever want. I have some dead orbit rank as well, but I assume that I can't take up an allegiance with them because I have one with the future war cult. So what does taking an allegiance do? Does it show up somewhere? True. That How says like, I'm a future war cult what if you want member. Not be one in that anymore. Right. How do you get rid of it? Is it perhaps in your inventory? It is down there. Okay. Yo. There you go. So and maybe you can these... abandon it. That's that's really cool. It identifies you as a supporter and ally of future war cult. Supporters gain future war cult reputation whenever they earn Vanguard or Crucible reputation, and may purchase this faction's gear. So do we no longer do bonds? Not. Okay. Bonds don't give you. Bonds, you know, if you're a hunter, it's a cloak. If you're a titan, it's a, a mark. Your um, bond isn't what's giving you the It doesn't give you the anymore. reputation anymore. Yeah. You will just always be getting that reputation Yay! along with you don't have Vanguard to reputation. It. Along with That's Crucible nice. reputation. That is really smart. You don't have to choose. Thank you, Bungie. I'm hashtagging this video. Thank you, Bungie, because you guys have done a lot of things right. I say you guys as if Bungie's going to watch right. this video. As if Bungie gives a shit about my opinion. Well, Pyrotaz underscore what three. What if they do? They're going to follow you and be like, hey, DM me. Because <laughs> we care. Yo, Bungie, DM me. I'll definitely do like, uh, a, I'll, I'll stream um, with you guys if you right. want. Here's where our emotes are. Here's where we can store our emotes. Um, Wait, go over. Go over it. Hover, hover, oh. Hover, yeah. Can only hold one at a time. Huh. Like I can only hold one point at yeah. a time. Yeah. I mean, why would you want one? <laughs> I don't know, but it's the same way with, like, emblems and They're stuff as well. They're distinguishing it, so. Yeah, it's yeah. only like you hold one at a time. That's fine. So, I believe that's everything with the tower. I don't know what differences there's going to be with the reef. Um, but, you know what? Let's let's take a look. Why not? No tracked items. Select quests and bounties in the quest screen to track their progress. Yo, we now have nice. different things you can look at. The voice channel, whether you want to be on yeah. fire, fire team, team chat or team right. chat. I don't know what off is. Just off. Or tracked items. That's Turn really it cool. All off. So let's uh let's hit orbit.
So I went over to the Veshin Outpost and found out that literally everything is the same. Uh, nothing has changed at all, which I probably should have expected seeing is how new the Veshin Outpost is. Um, the tower is much more expansive, so that's probably why all the changes have been done there. There's not near as many things in the Veshin Outpost. Uh, so I think that I'm probably going to be ending things here, uh, which is okay, because I really just wanted to familiar you guys with the new menu, the new light system, and what is all new at the tower. Um, so hopefully this helped you out. Hopefully it showed you some things that you weren't quite aware of or explained some things that you didn't quite understand. Uh, this was my very first Pyro Plays, so I understand that it's probably not the best thing out there, but I hope to do many more and hopefully uh, get better as time goes on. And hopefully you guys will kind of accompany me through that, that journey and through that experience. Um, so if you like the video, show me so, give me a like, comment uh, things that you thought were done right or done wrong. I love any type of feedback. Feel free to share with any of your guardian friends. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, that is at Pyrotaz underscore three, conveniently. Um, and you can kind of stay tuned for when I'll be putting up other Pyro plays and maybe even twitching here and there. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is Pyrotaz underscore three. I was accompanied by DustBunny527 for this video. Um, and I will check you guys later. Thanks for watching.